Hi guys, welcome to um, another video on the jQuery chapter. In this video I'm going to talk about an awesome plugin which is called Uploadify. And um, this is an updated video so um, because there is a new version of Uploadify I'm making this new updated video so you can be up to date with all the features that Uploadify has. Now I want you guys to first go to Uploadify.com and uh, we will begin um, in the uh, go to the download section okay because you'll, you'll have to download the plugin now what is Uploadify? Uploadify is basically a plugin that um, will help you to control um, uploading files to your server so if you have an application or website where you have users to that want to upload files pictures or whatever files they want uh, to upload to your server or to your uh, website this plugin is the best thing uh, there is out there so there is a free version and there's a, um, a five dollar uh, purchase version that um, you can buy with uh, HTML5 based uh, multiply file uploader as it says here okay so it's basically uh, an HTML5 uh, based uploadify uh, version but I don't uh, I don't want to buy uh, the five dollar version so I want to check only the free version so we have to uh, download the flash version okay guys um, it will work perfectly as well so download the free version which is the um, flash version if you want to pay uh, five dollars for the HTML5 uh, version you can do it um, but I'm I'm gonna use the free version now open Uploadify you have all these um, files let's create a new folder and call it Uploadify and grab all the files and put them in there so you can delete the zip file now let me open the folder and there it is okay so you have a uh, an Oplo Oh, sorry. Uh, Uploadify cancel PNG, uh, which is for the button uh, SWF. This is for the flash uh, version for the effects PHP, a CSS, a license, uh, two GS files, index.php, which we'll use to start um, to see the demo. Okay, and check exists PHP and a change log <coughs> dot text now let's grab uploadify and make sure you have your zem control panel apache server running and let's grab uploadify and put the uploadify folder in here in your HD docs there it is perfect because we'll need um, in order to uh, see this work we will need um, to send the files or upload files from our computer to the virtual Apache server that we run with XAMPP okay so now we have to create a new a new um, a folder here in the htdocs and so which th this is the folder where we're gonna send the files or the users will send the files or pictures or whatever so let's call this uploads um, and you have to call it uploads because by um, by uh, default you need to use um, uploads okay because in the PHP script that we have here if you open this uploadify.php that controls everything uh, the plugin does you'll see that we have a define a destination and this is where you define destination you want to upload the files uh, obviously you can change this but for now let's leave it this way to see the demo uh, and see if this really works um, 
Now to see it work, this is very very simple. Okay, so let's open the uh, browser and let's type localhost. And remember, we have you remember that we have an index.php file, and basically, if you run a localhost uh, slash uploadify, it will uh, automatically go to the index. Uh, PHP file so click enter and there it is okay so um, let's see the code of it let uh, let me open here the uploadify and index.php open with notepad okay there it is um, this is the code that basically um, you need to run um, the main file, okay, or uh, the um, the file that runs and loads all the file or uploads all the files to your uh, server. So you see that we have um, you have here a call for an AJAX googleapis.com slash AJAX libraries jQuery. This calls a jQuery um, GS file. Uh, this loads uh, the jQuery uploadify.js as well, and this loads uploadify.css, which all these files basically are here, okay, inside your uploadify folder that we downloaded. Now we have a little um, body uh, style here with CSS as well, and down here we have a div. Um, this div doesn't have anything in it. Uh, basically, this probably um, is here for some uh, flash or something like that to um, appear as soon as you upload something. Uh, so let just uh, leave this here. Then we have the input, and you see at the end we have multiple. Basically, this is um, and we have true. So this is for multiple files to upload multiple files. You can type here false or take this out. Uh, this is something. This is a property that you can also use in here. Okay. Uh, let's go line by line. Then we have the script JavaScript, a timestamp. Uh, this is PHP. Um, basically, the PHP uh, functions you see in here and also in here um, are um, for security reasons. So let's just leave them there, and in here is where you can start putting your um, options. Okay. Uh, remember those options that we saw in the documentation in the uploadify.com document section. So we have a several uh, number of events you can use and options. Let's go to docs. And here, let me just zoom this in. Here you have options, events, and methods. Okay, so I'm going to use just a few of them to um, for you to see how to use and implement them in here. So for now, we have just a call for um, uploadify as uh, wf and the uploader of the script, which is in the PHP file. Now in here you can start putting, uh, let's say for example, um, the auto, and here you have two values, either true or false. Okay. Um, if you type true, as soon as you click, uh, and also by default already uh, is like that. But as soon as you choose the file to download, let me just refresh. As soon as you click the file to download, let's try um, my picture here. It will uh, start um, uploading. Okay. Now you can go and see uh, this in the uploads. Let me just check if this worked. Yes, there it is. Okay, so if you go to the uploads uh, folder, you see that the picture has been um, uploaded. Now, if you type false, 
let's see what this does refresh and you see that nothing happens it's still waiting for uh, you to um, to approve okay or click some button to start uploading okay now to create that button if you go to the documentation in here um, you have here upload here is the button uh, so grab uh, here when it's here uh, where it says HTML code um, you have to grab all this the input and the upload button uh, sorry guys just a second well you don't need the input because you already have it so let's grab only the button which is inside uh, an anchor tag uh, this is kinda this is pretty let me just copy this and put this in here okay inside the form paste so okay we don't need all this in black we only need the anchor tag okay so now we have the anchor tag where uh, it loads a button which is to upload files make sure you have out of false and now um, let me just go here let me just refresh this again you see you have a little upload files here select the file and nothing happens it's not uploading to the um, folder or to the server but as soon as I click here it starts um, uploading okay now you'll see that we should have here and the corner you see that if you click uh, here you should have some X okay to cancel the uploads but it's not shown because it's not working very well in flash and this free version of flash but in HTML5 version which costs five dollars if you have that version it uh, will appear okay it not it doesn't appear but if you click it here you see it appears cancelled okay so that's a little um, problem that uh, the flash version free flash version has um, but let me just use another another um, here cancel let me use cancel um, okay you can let me just grab all this code okay you can maximize the um, you can maximize the um, the code in here or this window and copy all this HTML code let's go back to notepad plus plus and uh, up here let's take uh, well let's put it here and see what this does so upload files so we don't need this upload files that we previous, previously used and this we don't need this as well so make sure uh, you save that you have this long line which has a cancel first file uh, button uh, clear the QE uh, button and also upload files button so if you go now to the page and to localhost uploadify uh, you have three different um, three different functions you can use in buttons and let's try these buttons so multiple okay so we have this these ready um, I can clear the QE, so cancel all of them. I can uh, let me just select them again, start uploading them, or cancel the first file. Okay, only the first one, one by one, and upload files, and everything is uploaded. Okay, 
now <clears throat> it's up to you to start exploring and see what um, what options you can use uh, there's also um, a multi multi option uh, which basically you can use true or false by default is true because as you saw we can upload um, multiple files or pictures or whatever but if you stay uh, if you put this to false let me just check if this works let's refresh select files and uh, we can no longer uh, grab more than one file okay um, we can only uh, grab one file at a time okay guys so make sure everything is working and uh, if you have any questions or any problems uh, just send me a message and uh, try uh, on your own uh, the different options you have or the events or methods okay if you have any um, problem with one of the options or events I uh, will try to help you out okay just send me a message okay guys this is how you can use um, this plugin for a, an application or a platform that uh, you have uh, users subscribing and give them the opportunity or the functionality to upload uh, um, files or pictures like in Facebook or something like that okay see you guys later